Hey, it's show and tell. This uh, beautiful blue bottle dates back to the 1940s, but you can't guess what it is. Well, believe it or not, it's a sprayer and it was used against moths. When people put away their woolen clothes, uh, they were told to spray with this device. How did it spray? Pump, like that. But what is also interesting is what it contained. It contained DDT. Well, DDT had been synthesized back in the 19th century, but it was in 1939 that Paul Muller, a Swiss uh, scientist, discovered its insecticidal properties, and it became immediately used against mosquitoes to control malaria. It could also control typhus. Uh, both of these diseases were, were horrific uh, in the 1940s and the 1950s, and DDT went a long way to, to suppress them. However, in 1962, Rachel Carson published her book, Silent Spring, uh, which introduced the idea that chemicals introduced into the environment could be dangerous. Uh, DDT was toxic to uh, birds. They didn't lay eggs uh, that hatched properly. This was a huge problem for the Peruvian falcon and for the bald eagle. Uh, but also, it turned out to have properties that were not so good in terms of, of human health. Uh, because of the uh, effect on insects, uh, Paul Muller actually received the Nobel Prize in 1948 for having discovered that effect. But uh, after Rachel Carson publicized the uh, detrimental properties of some environmental chemicals, uh, DDT was banned in agriculture. And uh, it is still sometimes uh, used in areas of the world where malaria is endemic, when nothing else works. And when it is used in um, those uh, environments, uh, it is used in much smaller doses than in agriculture. So DDT was very popular uh, back in the 1940s and 1950s. Here's another version of a DDT uh, sprayer. Uh, today, of course, uh, we have other insecticides and DDT has uh, sort of gone into the background, uh, but uh, it has a very interesting uh, history of use. And I'm always reminded of that by looking at this uh, fascinating sprayer that was uh, sold to people uh, for household use back in the 1940s. And that for today is our show and tell.